FAC 455D Control Board Explain. Important. Before attempting any work on the control, board, connections, maintenance, always turn off main power. FAAC 455D control board wiring. Terminal block J4. Motors and flashing lamp. Motor 1. Terminal 1, 2, and 3 is for motor 1. Connection to motor 1 is can be used in single leaf configuration. Motor 1, the first opening motor. Terminal 1. Connect the motor 1, common wire, and pin 1. Terminal 1 is common of motor 1. Terminal 2. Connect the motor one phase wire in pin two. Terminal two pin is for start to opening the gate. Terminal three. Connect the motor one phase wire in the pin three. Terminal three pin is for start to closure the gate. Motor two. Terminal 4, 5, and 6 is for motor 2. Connection to motor 2 is cannot be used in single leaf configuration. Motor 2 delay opening motor. Terminal 4. Connect the motor 2 common wire in pin 4. Terminal 4 is common of motor 2. Terminal 5. Connect the motor 2 phase wire in pin 5. Terminal 5 pin is for start to opening the gate. Terminal 6. Connect the motor 2 phase wire in pin 6. Terminal 6 pin is for start to closure the gate. The maximum of the control output power is 800 watts. When in commissioned, any opening and closing invert comes. Check the motor one and motor two phase wires only. Invert with each other. Flashing lamp. Terminal seven and terminal eight for flashing lamp output. The output is 230 volt AC. Connect 230 volt AC lamp in the control board. Connection of photocells and safety devices. Before connecting the photocells or other devices, it is advisable to select the type of operation according to the movement area they have to protection. Opening safety. They operate only during the gate opening movement and therefore are suitable for protecting the area between the opening leaves and fixed obstacles, walls, etc. against the risk of impact and crushing. Closing safety. They operate only during the gate closing movement and therefore they are suitable for protecting the closing area against the risk of impact. Connection of one pair of closing photocell. This is a transmitter and receiver. Connect the power for photocells. In control board, terminal 18. Terminal 18 is plus 24 volt DC output power supply for photocell. Terminal 18, connect to transmitter photocell pin 2. In control board, terminal 19. Connect to transmitter photocell pin 1. It's negative for power supply for transmitter of photocell. In control board, terminal 18. Connect to receiver photocell pin 5.
In control board, terminal 16. Connect to receiver photocell pin 4. Terminal 16 is common or minus terminal. Take from receiver photocell jumper to pin 3 in receiver photocell. Now connect the safety from control board. If you want open safety connect terminal 13 in receiver photo cell pin 2. Or if you want closing safety connect terminal 12 in receiver photo cell pin 2. Important. Only connect one safety. Terminal 12. CLFSW is closing safety devices contact. It's NC. The purpose of the closing safety devices is to protect the leaf movement area during closing. During closing in the EAS EPAPSP logics, the safety devices reverse the movement of the gate leaves or stop and reverse the movement when they are released advanced programming. During the closing cycle in logics B and C, they interrupt movement. They never operate during the opening cycle. If the closing safety devices operate when the gate is open, they prevent the leaf closing movement. Note, if no closing safety devices are connected, jumper connect. Terminals CL and TXFSW. Terminal 13. OPFSW is opening safety devices contact. It's NC. The purpose of the opening safety devices is to protect the leaf movement area during opening. During opening in the EAS EPAPSP logics, the safety devices reverse the movement of the gate leaves. During the opening cycle in logics B and C, they interrupt movement. They never operate during the closing cycle. If the opening safety devices operate when the gate is closed, they prevent the leaf opening movement. Command devices. A device which touch the contacts the pulse will generate in the control board. Open A. Terminal 9 with common terminal 14. Total opening command. It's NO contact. Any pulse generator push button, detector, etc., which by closing a contact, commands opening and or closing of both gate leaves. Open B. Terminal 10 with common terminal 14. Partial opening command. It's NO contact. Any pulse generator, push button, detector, etc., which by closing a contact, commands opening and or closing of the leaf driven by motor 1. In the B and C logics, it always commands closing of both leaves. To install several partial opening pulse generators, connect the NO contacts in parallel. STP command. Terminal 11 with common terminal 14. It's stop contact. It's NC contact. Any NC device, e.g. a push button, which, by opening a contact, is able to stop gate movement. Note. Stop devices are not connected. Jumper connect the STP terminals. Terminal 20 and terminal 21. Electric lock. Power supply to electric lock. If necessary, connect a 12-volt AC electric strike lock between this terminal. Terminal block J6. Limit switch or gate coder. These inputs are designed for connection of opening and closing limit switches or gate coders. The 400 operator cannot use limit switches but only gate coders. They are used to detect the leaf's angular position 
and to thus obtain deceleration and stop positions more accurately than using the operating timing, please refer to figure S for wiring information. If the gate coders are not used, the J6 inputs can be left unconnected.